What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Doing something a little different today. Hmm. Matt here, who's usually the cameraman, has traded in the camera for his golf clubs. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to the channel, Matt. Get a chance to Oh yeah. Bank on Windmill Heights. That's uh that's a hustle rocket. Had to bring it up. So we are at Parcours du Vieux Village in Beaumont. We are playing in a Pro-Am event, net best ball. So I brought Matt because he has a 8.7 index, basically a nine handicap. I think you're getting 10 strokes? No, I think you're getting eight. We'll have to check the card. Pretty <laughs> sure Matt's getting eight. So, so we've got the net best ball Pro-Am section. There is also a Pro division as well, which I am also competing in. Just looking to go out some fun today. Change the pace a little bit. Have a little fun with Matt here. Get to, get to see him hit the golf ball a little bit. Hopefully better. Oh, well, uh, can't get much worse, dude. And uh, hopefully we uh, just have a little bit of fun and see where we fall at the end of the day. Let's go get it, bud. Cheers, man. So, as previously mentioned, we are at Parcours du Vieux Village in Bromont, Quebec. That translates loosely to Course of the Old Town. Matt and I just getting warmed up here. So, I am playing from the gold tees just under 6,600 yards. Matt, because of his handicap, is playing from the white tees, which is just under 5,700 yards. Don't we look good in our matching shirts, huh? Shout out for Amigos, link in the description. We are starting on the 10th hole. It is a 420 yard dogleg to the right. Tee shot goes over some water if you want to get pretty aggressive with it, which is what I am going to do here. Good start to the day, solid drive, excellent ball flight. I could not be happier with that. Now for Matt, this hole is only 345 and he only has about 215 to carry the water. So he was thinking five iron. I told him to go with four. First turn in a while. Thought he might miss it a little bit and he crushed this. Unfortunately, he also pulled it. But he hit that four iron about 240 yards into the side hill here. Leaves him 105 yards to this middle flag. Now. You do not want to go past this flag. It is like right on a ridge. So unfortunately, Matt, as predicted from the lie, misses this a little to the right. Just kind of front right of the green, just off the surface. Really not a bad shot, all things considered. I had 88 yards in, so I've got my lob wedge out. Now, I want to get aggressive, but I cannot risk going past this flag because it is almost a certain three putt if you don't make the first one. I just get a little bit too safe, maybe a little short, but I do have an uphill putt. Matt here chipping from the front right of the green. Now he strokes on this hole. He actually strokes on the first four holes, which is a nice start for him. And that is a great chip shot from him there. Gives himself this putt for a par net birdie. Great start to the day for Matt. That puts our team at one under par. Now this putt still means something for the pro purse, so I'd love to make this and get off to a good start for myself as well. Hit a great putt, just missed it on the high side. I'll go ahead, tap in for my par, not a bad start. The 11th hole is a par three. Today it was playing 208 yards to a front flag. I am hitting six iron and I hit this thing miles right. Definitely didn't want to go left to this flag and I think I just overdid that a little bit. But anyways. Matt had 142 yards into this front flag. He is hitting a pitching wedge. Really good strike by him. I mean, this thing just never left the flag stick. Excellent shot. Put that about eight feet below the hole. So I've got this pitch here. Now I, for one, want to make par for my own score, but I also want to take some pressure off of Matt because he's got a birdie putt with a stroke so that's a putt for a two net one i chipped that up just to a couple of feet just giving matt a hand with the read here it was a uphill putt it was just going to turn a little bit to his right see i can point out where the high spot is in green where the low spots are matt gets in there puts a really good stroke on this just didn't quite get it started left of the center of the hole that's all right. He will tap in Great for ball. par net birdie. Puts the team at two under through two. I will clean up my par. I am even through two. 
The 12th hole is a 573 yard par 5, pretty straight away off the tee and then dog legs slightly to the right. I am taking driver down the right side of the fairway. Again, really nice swing, good contact, great ball flight, good start to the day with driver. Matt does not have a driver at the moment, he broke it last week, so he is hitting 3 wood. He tries to give this an almighty rip and it just catches okay. it a little thin. It works out fine though, that is a great miss. So I am in the fairway with 268 yards in. Now, you could not go past this flag. This was slightly into wind, but three oh, wood would have number. probably been the right play, but it would have been a very aggressive call uh, with a chance of getting it past yeah, the flag. The so I figured hit hybrid if it comes out with a little with no spin, it can get up there. Matt was left with 228 yards in. He hit a four iron, which started just a little left and drew on him a bit. Landed just short left of the green and actually skipped up onto the fringe. It worked out really nicely. I've got this 40 yard pitch shot from short of the green. And a very uncommitted move on that one. Just not my best effort there. Still got a birdie putt. Matt with an eagle putt from the fringe. Again, a stroke hole for him. Good roll here. Tons of movement on this putt, just a hair too much pace for that line, but a very good effort. I'm trying to make this putt one to take some pressure off of him, but also just for my score in the pro division. Good roll, just pulled it a little bit, didn't quite get it on my line. I'll go ahead, tap in for my par. Matt putting for birdie, net eagle. Four under through three as a team. What a start. The 13th hole is a 430 yard par four, the dog legs to the right. I am getting aggressive here with driver, going over the right corner. Again, really good strike, really nice ball flight. We can't see it come down, but I imagine that thing is perfect. Matt hitting a five iron off the tee just for placement. Missed that one a little bit, kind of low right, but jumped a little left off the side of the bunker on the corner. He's going to be in the fairway with 108 yards in. He is hitting a 58 degree. Good rip, good strike. Had the right distance. Just a little to the right. Looked like he was aimed there, to be honest. I was left with 59 yards in from the middle of the fairway, so I'm going to get a little saucy with a 60 degree here. Land it short, one hop up, jam on the brakes. Nice. Leave myself inside of three feet for birdie. Matt with his third shot here from off the green. Good technique, good contact. Just flew it a tiny little bit too far. Gives him this putt for par, net birdie. And he rolls that one out. I mean, man. I haven't contributed yet. Like, I'm about to make birdie here, and I still haven't done anything for the team. But that does get me to one under par in the pro division. 14 is a 325 yard dog leg left par four. I'm hitting a four iron, trying to hook it around the corner. Played that really nicely. Thought it might have actually gone a little too far left, but it ended up being very nice. Matt is hitting a seven iron here for placement. This hole is only 300 yards for him. Good swing, good shot, I and mean, he hit that thing a mile in the air, but it worked out just fine. Leaves him 94 yards from the left center of the fairway here. That's his 58 again. Again, just missing it out to the right. Again, had the right distance, so it's close, but not quite there for him with the wedges right now. I had about 48 yards in here to a front flag. Bit of a tricky shot here. Have to be careful with this one. Actually landed it in the fringe, kicked a little left, looked like it came pretty close to the hole, just ran past it a little bit. Not a bad shot given the circumstances. Matt with a chip here from right of the green. Again, good contact. He expected this to break considerably to the left. It was just never going to and it was quite a quick chip. This for his par. Now he does not stroke on this hole. Gave it a good run. It's just a little slower than he expected. Now, we had 
Matt's friend Charles on the camera today, at least for the front nine. Now Charles thought he'd stop recording here, which is a little unfortunate because now he thinks he is recording right now, but he isn't. I rolled in my birdie putt, you're just going to have to believe me. See that Charles thinks that the camera is off right now. Anyways, that got me to two under. That got the team to six under through five. The 15th hole is a par three playing 165 yards for me. I am hitting a small nine iron. Pin was kind of back right. Don't want to go past this. Anything a little short left of it leaves you a pretty straight uphill putt. And I did just that, though I was worried it was going to spin down the hill. Matt. Is hitting a pitching wedge from 148 yards. He wasn't so sure about this, but man, to me, this one looked great all the way. Just right of the flag, but 10 high. What a shot. So I've got this 20 footer for birdie here. Good run, good pace. Definitely just pulled that a little bit left of my line, but that's fine. I'm going to walk up there, clean up from my par to remain at two under and leave Matt a free run at this birdie putt. Now I told him, he asked me if I liked his line. I said, if you're gonna hit that line, you gotta hit it firm. Yeah. And he nice. fell right into the back of the cup. Who, who is this guy? Like, <laughs> what's going on? I mean, Matt is one under gross oh. at this point. The 16th hole is a 435 yard par four that dog legs right around some water. I'm hitting driver trying to go right of the tree, but left of the water. Okay. Another good strike, just played the okay. little bit too safe down the left, didn't want to flirt Oof. with the water on the right. Yeah, it should be okay though. Matt is hitting a four iron as this hole is only 360 yards for him. Pretty good strike, just slightly down the right side, but he should be fine there. Honestly, got to say, I'm impressed with the way he is playing right now. This leaves him 128 yards. He's hitting a 52 degree. He's got a little bit of tree trouble, and I think that scared him. He just kind of pulled it a little bit left. This is going to go a little bit long left over that bunker. What that is crap? no bueno. That is going to be tough from down nah, there. I, of the tree. I have 121 yards in, slightly into wind. I am hitting a 50 degree. I'm expecting it to turn a little left because the ball is above my feet. <laughs> Came out a little hot, just jumped on me a bit, never turned to the left. Just on the right fringe. Not a bad shot, but I have a very difficult putt coming up. Matt with his third shot here from long left of the green. Honestly, he played a good shot here. He just did not realize how much this green slopes from back to front. This thing just ran on forever, as you can see. Him trying to clean up for his par, putting up the hill, and he just hammered this one so uh he's got some work left to do for his bogey here i have this birdie putt going off the fringe onto the green taking a hard turn to the left and going pretty significantly downhill that really to me was just a pace putt get it down by the hole if the hole catches it great matt putting for his bogey look how much this turns just yeah Tough, tough putt. He taps in for double. Now I have to make this putt to keep myself at two under and keep the team at seven under. No problem there. We will take the par and move on. The 17th hole is a par four, 345 yards, the dog leg straight to the right. I am hitting four iron off the tee just to get past the corner, give myself a wedge in. Good strike. Fortunately, did turn it over a little bit. That's still fine. It's going to be left side of the fairway. Just a bit of a longer shot in. Matt hitting 7-iron off the tee. Again, this hole is only 300 yards for him, so he's just trying to place it, give himself a wedge. Fortunately, he pushed that one pretty significantly to the right. I see some wild swings from Matt. Like, he's hitting it good, but man, he's got to work on his balance a bit. So, I have got 124 yards in here. I am hitting a controlled gap wedge to this front right flag position. I want to land it just past it and spin it back down to the front of the green. Look good all the way. Go in. Oh. Thought that had a chance. 
Matt has a 58 degree here from 86 yards. Now again, it looks like he is aimed way to the right. Oh, and then where does his ball go? Way to the right. Doesn't help that the ball is below huh. his feet there. That leaves him a pretty awkward shot here. Yeah, that doesn't go great. That's unfortunate. That's tough. Right across the green. Whoa. He'll hit another chip from the other side of the green. Pretty good chip here. Played that well. Again, look at how much that curves. Let's see, a lot of slope in these greens here. So I've got this birdie putt up the hill. I think it's going to turn a little bit to the left. It does not. It's just dead straight. It feels like a missed opportunity. But I'll take the par. Keeps me at 2 under and the team at 7 under. Matt taps in for his bogey. Really not bad, all things considered. The ninth hole is a par 5, 525 yards for me. It goes downhill and then dog legs to the right. Bit of an uncomfortable swing there. First real miss with the driver. I mean, I was better missing left than right. Okay. But I'm not going to be able to go for it in two. Matt hitting three wood. Again, he does not have a driver right now. This hole is 464 yes. yards for him. And he absolutely roasted this three wood. Now it's a little down the right, but he is going to be okay. So I'm in the trees on the left. I have a seven iron and I'm just trying to hit a draw. Well, more of a hook, I guess, just to advance the ball up around the 100 yard marker. Executed that very nicely. I can get aggressive with that next shot now. Matt had 166 yards in here. He hit a 52 degree. Worried that it was going to fly. Pin was also at the back. He didn't want to go past it. Good swing from him. On a great line. Just got up to like the front right of the green, so that's fine. He's got a long uphill look at Eagle here. I had 100 yards in. I am hitting my sand wedge. Now these greens were soft. They spin a lot, so I am going to try and knock this down. Come in a little bit lower. Really trying to control the spin. Just a little right of the flag, but great okay. distance control and great spin control. Giving myself a good look at birdie from there. Matt's eagle attempt. Yeah. Gonna have to work on his pace control a little bit. That, uh, Give it a run. hit that hard. My birdie putt. Breaking from right to left. Not the easiest putt in the world. Really have to match up line and pace. I'm able to do that. That gets me to three under. Gets the team to eight under. Matt's birdie putt. Nah, just never got it high enough. That's unfortunate. That wasn't an easy putt. You gotta give him that. Matt's gonna tap in for his par. Pretty good nine from the young man. Making the turn onto the front nine. This is a 415 yard par four. Pretty straight away. Water down the left. Again, not a sure. great drive. Like, it's fine. It's in play. Just a little oh, well, high okay, off the face, a little off the toe, a little down the right. So, right rough. Yep. Not the end of the world. I've hit much worse misses so far this year. Matt hitting iron off the tee here. This hole is only 350 for him. The water left. He wasn't comfortable with the three wood. Unfortunately, he blocks this one out to the right. There is out of bounds down the right. So, we'll have to see about that. My alignment on that should have been interesting. Why well, don't look okay? Really? Yeah. Unfortunately, we never found Matt's ball, so I'm alone playing this hole now. 110 yards off of this down slope to a front right middle-ish flag. I'm not sure how to describe it. Cool. Good strike from there on Good. a great line. Sit. That's a pretty oh, nice wow. shot, all things considered, but I... There is a fairly big slope there. I'm going to have a very quick downhill birdie putt here. See, downhill putt, breaking to the right. I just expected go, this thing go, to be go. way faster. So, fortunately, left that short. Left myself a little bit of work to do there. So, this is a big putt for my personal score and a big putt for the team. It's two and a half feet here for my par. Again, downhill turning slightly from left to right. Want to make this for Matt here. Able to yep. tap that in. We move on. The second hole is a par 3. Today playing 127 yards for me. I'm hitting a little gap wedge. Nice swing. Yeah. Nice strike. On a great line. 
Now from the tee, Hit. I thought that this was just yep. below the flag, ended up being just past it. Matt had 119 yards. I believe he hit a 56 here. And man, he got all of this. Touch them all, a little Matt. deep. Touch them all. I think a little bit, eh? On. Just a little. It's okay. It's not a stroke hole. Fuck. Uh, the green is here. Matt is, uh, Matt's all the way back here. Yeah, Matt with some work to do here to save his par. Ooh, that's going to be a little deep. All things considered. Not bad from where he was, to be honest. That will finish just off the front of the green. He's going to continue playing the hole. Trying to chip it up the hill here. Not a bad chip. Just should have started a little more left. I have this downhill left to right birdie putt. Again, should be very fast. Again, get I get there. just a little scared of it. So that's two in a row that I have left. Downhill putts that I've left short in the heart. So, a couple of missed opportunities there. Matt trying to clean up for his bogey. Oh. We both expected that to turn. It never did. That's an unfortunate double. But that's okay. Good putt, man. I had the team covered. The third hole is a 530 yard par 5. I'm hitting driver. It's fairly straight away. Dog leg slightly left later. I feel like a pretty good swing here. Ball flight was just a little strange though. It came out a little low, low spin. Ball really didn't go very far, but it is nope. in the fairway, so I'm not going to complain. Very spinny. That was a weird flight. Matt hitting three wood, taking a nice divot with his practice. That was recording. Swing. That's embarrassing. Oh, does it again. And not his best here. Kind of like drop kick toey left yeah, you're fairly in play. quickly, but he is in play. So from the junk here, he is hitting pitching wedge, trying to go up over that tree. Just trying to get the ball back go. out of play, give I himself did. some go. kind of shot into the green. Yeah. I heard it land. Right. Yeah. Okay, it's good. Good work, bud. Now I have 276 yards in here. Now I went through a stretch in these last few holes here where I started struggling with my alignment again and I really did not feel comfortable. And it really showed Sit. on this one here. Really biggest miss of the day so far. The ball striking has been pretty solid, but as soon as I'm getting uncomfortable right now, it's just hard that to trust. Up, up here, no. Get stuck underneath oh, and throw my hand. So I hit a provisional. So I'm not sure where that finished. And to be honest, the provisional was not much better than the first ball. Not as far play left, but I know that one's in play at least. Matt had 130 yards left in. He is hitting a 52 degree. Looked like a pretty good swing there. A little left of the flag. Went just a little oh. long. I mean, just got Kay. a lot of that wedge All right. right there. It's good swing. So we find my first one. I have 40 yards. I'm a little short sided, but it's really not that bad, all things considered. I thought I played this shot really well, landed it between the bunker Hit. and the flag, and it just took off uphill, which was interesting. So, Matt chipping downhill for his birdie. Now, he expected this to be very quick. Yeah, it just scary chip. Wasn't. I have this downhill birdie look, turning from left to right. Go, just go, go, didn't go, quite go. get this one high enough. Technically got it to the hole, so that's a win after the last couple holes. I tap in for my par. Matt trying to clean up for his par. It is not a stroke hole, so it's not going to change anything. At this point, I remain at three under on my ball in the pro division. The team remains at eight under overall in the pro-am. The fourth hole is a par three for me playing 162 yards to a front flag. Again, very uncomfortable with my alignment on this one. Again, I get stuck Stay. on the plane and miss it a little bit to oh, the I left. And we'll see this take a huge kick left wow, once it lands just off the green there. I'm in play. Okay. It's not ideal, but I just out. feel like I'm letting Matt down here a little bit. Matt here has 120 yards. He is hitting a 56 degree. For some reason, this is a stroke hole for him. 
I don't get it, but we're not going to complain. He claims he missed this, but he missed it. You completely missed it? To 10 feet. I hit the ball here. Bravo. Yeah, good miss. Good miss. I'm trying to get this up and down for my own score. I know Matt has a 10 footer for a birdie net one. Good chip there. That was very nice. Yeah. Came out exactly okay. as I'd visualized yep. it. Hit my spot. Nice chip, man. Didn't quite get all the way to the hole. Matt has this quick downhill putt. We saw a lot of turn on this. It just didn't quite have a little the too turn much pace. Expected. Not a bad Especially putt though. With that pace. You want me to go first? Pretty good putt from his part though. Uh, no, I'll go. Okay. Matt cleaning up for his par net birdie. That Feel gives good. the team to minus nine. Me cleaning up here for par to stay at minus three. Yep. No damage done. The fifth hole is a 485 yard par five. So I am hitting driver and after a few questionable swings, I finally get a yes. hold of one. That one felt really good. Money. And look at the bounce. Big down. Big down. Big down. Big down. Wow. Yeah, that thing's That is there. far, man. Matt hitting three wood. Again, taking divots in his practice swing. That's All right, embarrassing. Settle down, settle down. Take a breath. This hole is only 455 yards for him, so even just hitting the three wood really isn't much of a disadvantage, except he just kind of hits a Be low, right. low hook. Works out. I mean, middle of the fairway. It's another, another good mess, man. great mess. It's all good. <laughs> nice practice swings. Matt is left with 192 yards into this flag. The flag is just kind of left of that tree. Now, another big rip from Matt. Blows it out to the right. I see that come down right. Did you there. see it down? Did you see it down? Okay. Yeah. He's in okay. play. It's not ideal. I am left with 161 yards. I've got nine iron, not quite a full one. Again, another good um, swing there. Felt like the tempo was a little bit better. Sequencing, falling back into place. Put that pin high, about 12, 14 feet right of the hole for Okay, that was goal. better. Matt here with his third shot into this par five, chipping up onto the green. Right, That's a pretty good shot from there. That wasn't easy. I'm putting for Eagle. This is not a stroke hole for him, so there's really that, no, no that was that was tough. Here. That was tough. Matt with a birdie putt from the fringe, and this will give you an idea of how much this green slopes. So look at that thing go. It's not bad from there. So I have this look for Eagle. Quick putt, going hard, Stop right curling. to Stop left. Curling. Had a good read, just didn't match up the pace, didn't quite get it to the hole. That's an easy birdie, but would have liked to have given the eagle look a better chance. I am at minus four. Matt trying to clean up for his par. Doesn't matter at this point. I'm at minus four. The team is at minus ten. Bad read. The sixth is a par three to today playing 144 yards to a back right flag. I am hitting pitching wedge slightly back. Oh, in just wind. pee it. Pitching wedge is good. I know oh, I'm not going to go long. Go. On a good line, just left. Uh, yeah. Spins back a little sit. bit. That's fine. Sit. I've given myself a putt. Uh, Hard to get aggressive to that flag. Matt here hitting 56 degree from 120 yards. And again, he gets all of it. Touch them all, Matt. Touch them all. We would end up finding his ball right behind a tree, so he just picked We're it up. We're having fun. Knowing I was on the yeah. ball, wasn't going to change anything. Uphill birdie look here. Matt helped me read this. We saw this going pretty straight and just kind of dying a little left. Go. Cool. No. Ah. Oh, my God. It tried to go left, but not until just after the hole. Good effort, good roll, good pace. Can't complain there. It was an outside look, let's be honest. I will tap in for my par, keeps me at 4 under, keeps the team at 10 under. The 7th hole is a 507 yard par 5, straight away, goes a little downhill. I'm hitting driver, bit of a narrow tee shot, but got this one oh, yeah. pretty good, just kind of started a little right, just kind of hung there, hit that right side of the fairway, not complaining. Not super well hit, but... 
in play. I like in play. Matt is hitting three wood. It is a 477 yard hole for him, and it is a stroke hole. Unfortunately, oh, he hooks this left of left. OB. This ball Four. is in somebody's pool or maybe their <laughs> kitchen sink. Yeah, that's OB. So this left me with 164 yards downhill, front flag. I'm hitting a nine iron. It's a little into the wind, so I got to catch this good. Probably yeah. the best iron shot I hit um, all day. Now, I did expect this to draw in a little bit. It didn't really, so we see it come down okay. there. But Flooding. luckily, I am okay. It is just on the green. Draw. I've got another eagle putt here. So this goes slightly uphill, downhill over a little crest, turns a little bit left, had this thing go. online go. the whole go. way, go. and just um. left it short. Time. Really has been the story of this back nine for us today. I will tap in for my birdie. That gets me to five under. It gets the team to 11 under. The eighth hole is a 320 yard par four. Goes over some water short of the green. So I'm getting aggressive. I'm hitting driver. I Stay. hit it great. Unfortunately, it did go a little bit left on me. Kind of over those trees there. Now we couldn't see it down. We figured okay, some okay. play. Yeah, yeah, it's now, Matt is hitting iron here because I told him to. Okay, Just want to make that clear. We needed to have a ball in play here. He was, wanted to hit three wood. I asked him to just hit a nine iron off the tee, which was going to safely put him at the 100-yard marker. Yep. This hole was only 290 shot. or 280 Hold yards on, bud. for him. This puts him right next to the 100-yard marker. 100 yards exactly in. He's hitting his 58 degree. Good iron shot there. Nice compression. Nope. Just left of the flag, just a little yeah, short. Yeah, not bad, man. He's giving himself a birdie putt. It's a good thing he played that way because I was not in great shape. I was about a foot from being OB. I've got a very funky lie on this down slope, the ball sitting down on the grass. I mean, I wasn't really sure how to play this. Just wanted to commit to swinging through it, trying to get the ball up in the air somehow, some way. Sit. Caught a little thin. I guess that was predictable from that lie. It just runs just over the green, but that's actually okay because it's going to leave me. It's an not that bad of a leaf. No. Now, I want to put this close. I want to lock in the par so that Matt has a free run at his birdie. Hit a good chip shot, just came out a little left and turned a little more left than I expected. Not the little proximity weird. I was looking for, but not a bad shot. This is Matt's birdie putt here, turning from left to right. Good try, Matt. Pretty good, good throw, try. Good pace. Just didn't get it high enough. He'll go ahead, tap in for good his par. par. Now, I need this par to stay at five under and remain bogey free for the day. Yep. I roll it in. We will take that. Great save, that man. So, going on to 18, we are 11 under as a team, and I am five under on my own ball. We know that we are in this to some extent in both competitions. This is a 387-yard yes, par 4. I am hitting a 4-iron. Very, very narrow the further you go up there. Really gets quite aggressive to play more club than that. The hole is 325 yards for Matt, so he is hitting a 7-iron. And oh, no. he chunks it. This one of the biggest misses he hit all day. He's in the fairway. It's okay, Matt. It's fine. We're good. But not what he was looking for. So he has 185 yards left to the green. He is hitting an eight iron. Oh, and be good. Hit an absolute ripper here. Look Great shot. That. Great shot, bud. What a what a recovery. My God. What a guy. Let's go. <laughs> Stoked. And he strokes on this hole. <laughs> Meanwhile, I have 150 yards going slightly uphill, ball a little above my feet. I'm hitting a pitching wedge. I do not want to bring long into play. Draw. Good swing. Good Draw strike. and beat just in the hole. Draws in. It's all over the flag. Oh, yeah. It's pretty close to it. Sit. Spins back like a mile. Get. It's a good shot. Oh, that my God. I knew this green had a lot of slope in it. I just didn't expect it to spin that much slightly downwind. So I have this long birdie look going uphill, turning heavy from left to right. 
I thought I'd hit this thing so hard, and it was just not even close wow. to the right amount of pace. So, luckily, Matt got a little bit of a teach off this line. So this is for birdie net eagle. Great roll on a great a line. Oh, oh just high side. What a putt. It. Wow, it started coming back down the hill. Great putt, Matt. Great effort by Matt there. So I've got this putt for par to shoot 67. Oh, turn left. Somehow oh that turn left. We jinxed it. I don't oh, get it. So that's really unfortunate. It. Three putt bogey to finish oh, at four no. under 68. Okay, Only nicely. bogey on the day. Matt has this par net birdie putt. Little two footer to finish at 12 under. That should put us in great shape. That hopped. It hopped. That is wildly unfortunate. I mean, Matt hit a great putt here and it just ducked left. All right. Shitting. It's okay. Take a breath. Although, yeah, no, this still means something. Yeah, we still need this putt because I made bogey. He needs to make this bogey net par putt to lock us in at 11 under as a team. Yeah, solid, man. He does it. What a guy. Yeah. Merci. Plaisir. Merci beaucoup. Merci, les gars. Oh, ça fait un plaisir. Yeah, ouais, merci, Matt. Bien joué. Belle game. Merci, Merci, merci beaucoup. Merci, 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 merci ouais. absolument. Good play, man. Merci, Ben. Hey, hey, uh, good 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 that was rough. Okay, so Matt and I are going to do a full recap once everything is completed. At the moment, our team score of minus 11 puts us in a tie for second place with four other teams. So we are going to do a shootout from 100 yards closest to the pin style. So we're going to film this. We're going to see what happens there. We will provide a full update after the round. Yeah, not bad. Ah, that's what see. Good shot. Good shot. That was nice. nice and smooth, like you said. <laughs> and chunk it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. Thank you. That was my goal. You did great. You're on the practice track. <laughs> it's a green. You're right. <laughs> no. Get in! No! Go in! <laughs> oh, fuck. You missed it. Good boss, man. Have yeah, a good shot. <laughs> All right, mini mini recap of the shootout. Oh yeah, great stuff. That great was stuff. Uh, borderline embarrassing. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. We had uh, a skull long over the green into the bunker and a uh, a chunked one to the front of the green. So not our best showing. Four teams, three spots paid out. So. Uh, we don't get shit, basically. Basically, basically. In the team game, at least, we don't get shit. Yeah. Here comes the football. It happens. After so, James Collin Davis, he has won 68, third place. 1300 dollars. Good. 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 I mean, I guess we'll we'll go over the round first. Yeah. You guys saw it all. Say, I guess I'll go over just my side of it first. Yep. This is the day after the Blaineville tournament, and I just don't feel like I was the same player today that I was the last two days. I worked a lot on my alignment last night just at home, and that paid off. I had a stretch of three or four holes after we made the turn where I struggled with it and hit some poor shots. But other than that, the game was pretty solid didn't make a lot of putts left a lot just kind of in the heart short bogey free up until the three putt on 18 that was super unfortunate but still a very solid round that put me solo third place in the pro division which won me 1300 bucks so i'm not going to complain on the team side i mean personally i i started i was very nervous it was my first pro uh event ever 
Like and the first real tournament you ever played in. I, I, at college, I went like three tournaments. Right, okay. Which true, I played true. like shit, all of them. Fair. And so I was very nervous, but the when I heard that I was playing from 5,600 yards, that gave me a lot of confidence because I'm, I'm pretty far with my distance, and so I, I'm, I'm, I'm confident. Yeah, that I can oh, shoot. No, no. Matt hits the ball a long and, way. And actually, side note, Matt doesn't have a driver right now. We'll probably talk about this in the voiceover at some yeah. point, but he broke his driver last week, so he had three wood with his longest club. But I mean, you ended up in a lot of like seven and six hundred. Yeah, so, so and, and that's good because I didn't feel confident at all with the woods. Like, yeah, we, it's been your me, struggle. Me and James, we had a like a practice with that and still kind of feels weird. Uh, I have the left a lot, like he does. <laughs> And uh, so yeah, but then from the start, like I was one under through four, and I was like feeling great. Wild I was start. I was yeah. playing really well. I was taking my time and everything, mm -hmm. and I don't think I got off the track up to like ten. Yeah. And then ten, I really I don't know. I had a bubble in my brain, whatever. Sure. And I started to swing a lot faster than yeah. I usually do. Yeah. Up to the end, basically. Yeah, I mean. Like you played the our front nine very solid, and then you, we lost your ball off the tee on yeah. on one after we'd made the turn of the front nine, and I think that just maybe stuck with you a little bit. Not um, really. Sometimes, like after a few holes that I play well, I'll just start to play bad, and sure. even though I know what the fix is, I can't can't get it over my yeah. head. Like I I know I'm I'm swinging fast, I'm, and you can ask, and we'll probably see on the camera. But every swing, I'm over the ball. I'm like, all right, easy swing. Yeah. And I, I still kill it. It's hard. It's hard so, to do. Yeah, especially and, in a tournament. Like, yeah. Everything wants to go quicker in a tournament for whatever reason. But, but, uh, uh, but yeah. dude, I'm proud of you. Man. Yeah, we like, played well. Uh, yeah. Honestly, 18 really is a bummer. Like, 18 is yeah. a bummer for both like, of us. Per personally, I, I fucked up my, my, my tee shot. Yeah, but like, you hit an completely. amazing second and shot. And then I made an amazing second yeah. shot. I, I, I couldn't, my first spot couldn't be better than that. Like, I'm literally. Still can't believe it go away. And then yeah. the the, four, uh, the the second putt, that really, I'm, I'm mad about that one. Yeah, like, we, we, we haven't had a chance to review the footage yet, but in real time, I really saw it hit something and, and bounce, bounce left. left. And so, if I would have known at that time that that would have cost us 3K, that's it. If, that would have been pretty bad. If that putt goes in, in the team event, we finish solo second, which was 3,000. Oh, lovely. Nice. Oh. So yeah, getting back to what we are saying. Uh, if he makes that putt, we finish 12 under as a team. That would have been solo second in the pro am aspect, and that would have been 3,000, which would so, have been sweet. Yeah, which of course, of course, <laughs> that would have been sweet. That would have been great. Uh, but of course, the putt doesn't go in, and then we go to that shootout, which oh. we've already recapped. I mean, that was. That I was already cool. knew. I, I, like, I personally knew I wasn't in it. Like whenever, whenever I'm over that pressure, I, I just can't. Sure. Yeah. Can't shoot. I mean, obviously, I, I hit a. Like, but I'm, you, I'm the one who should be yeah. assuming the pressure there and like I'm not trying to make excuses here but we saw in real time how far my approach shot spun away from that flag so we got like 114 yards I think it yeah, was in the shootout yeah. and I'm trying to hit like a gap wedge to take spin off of it and it's not a, shump, a shot I'm comfortable with at the best of times and then we haven't hit a ball in like two and a half hours yeah, and at least we were told there wasn't going to be a shootout so I'd have a couple pops and I chunked it you know, yeah. like it happens. It was, it was really unfortunate timing. Overall, but, though, a great day. We had yeah, fun. Oh, no, the whole time we said we yeah. had a really good time. Yeah. So and, there's, and dude, there's we, nothing. We Matching part. Yeah. Really yeah. yeah. <laughs> Shout out to poor Migos. Not much else to say. Really fun day. I'm really happy you were able to come out today, dude. That yeah. was a lot of fun to get you in front of the camera instead of behind it. Although the back nine, I mean, you although kind of yeah, it again. most of the time. I yeah. was <laughs> Shout out to Charles, who I didn't introduce earlier. Yeah. But uh, Matt's buddy Charles, who was here, filmed our front nine. Uh, I'm shouting him out. We don't know what the footage looks like yet, so we'll see. That <laughs> that sure also affected probably my back nine, like the filming. The fact that it's, I had to focus on something else too kind of got was, me off. It was the a game. lot. It was so. a lot for sure. But no regrets. That was a lot of fun, man. I, yeah. I really enjoyed the day. It was a nice opportunity for us to get out together and have a little more fun instead of you just kind of filming me in tournaments and stuff. So I'm pr I didn't shank a single ball. I know. Now, like you had a lot of good shots today. I, I, I did have a. So I think now going forward, if I mention you, I don't have to show the shank anymore. Please don't. I'll show you missing the two footer on 18 instead. Okay, I'll show you chunk it from like 100 yards. I'm messing with you. I'm, I'm really proud of what you did today. Your yeah, game's, your game's come a long way. Your yeah. striking is way, way better than when I met you. So, yeah. Yeah. Anyways, guys, 
Thanks a lot for watching. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, comment on the video, like the video. I'll be back again next week with another video for you guys. Cheers. Cheers.